Hey everybody, check it out. Got a box of red lines. Got a box of red lines just came in just now. It's a big one. It's a big one. And in this box, all red line blister packs. All red line blister packs. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Look at how beautifully these are packed. This is a beautiful packing job. Okay. Let's see. Tape inside. Open up, open up. Bubbles, yay! Green bubbles, out you go. Oh, hey, what's in there? Oh, a smaller box inside. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful packing job. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, perfect, right there. Let's see how it looks inside. I can't believe it. They're here. They're here. Oh, look. Looky, looky, looky. Looky, looky, looky. Oh, that's good. Let's see. Now I think I need to rearrange this setting. I'm going to move over here to this side of the table. Bring the camera down so I can see it. I will start opening the blisters. Not opening the blisters. What am I saying? Pulling out the blisters. All right. Number one. Oh, look at that. Number one is actually number two. Ha ha. It is a beautiful blue. Beautiful blue dump truck. Look at that. That's nice. Blue dump truck. I love that. Uh oh. And then purple 36 Ford Coupe. Purple, nice deep purple, nice base. Yes, well, it's kind of, it's mostly, they're mostly put in here the way I recommended. Not exactly, mostly, so far. And another heavyweight, a cement mixer. Cement mixer, uh-oh, uh-oh. Stickers don't want to come off. I think these, uh -oh, these are normal, these are normal mailing labels. They're, they're kind of sticky. That's all right, I'll get that off with the, lighter fluid this is a nice one this is the Can canadian booster pack the bubbles are much heavier and uh, they got the little bumps down on the bottom so they're really sturdy and the color is really good this is the u.s blister notice the difference u.s blister u.s blister here and canadian blister here colors are better on that both unpunched both unpunched nice pair oh you got a nice pair Light my Firebird in blue. Look at that shiny motor on that. That's nice. Shiny motor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice pack. Shiny motor. Shiny motor. Look at that little paper towel here and there. There you go. Look at that. Nicely done. Nicely done. And paper towels. All right. Green Vicky. Green Vicky. Now, when I spotted this one, I thought, hey, hey, hey. That one looks like a good ripper. I'm gonna move this slightly over. Look at that. See if we can get rid of that that light. See that light traveling through there? Yeah. This baby is going to be a shh, don't tell anybody, a ripper. Look how beautiful that is. Too bad it's got this tear right here. Some people don't understand how collect how fussy collectors are. Now back in the days when these were 75 bucks. A little rip like that didn't matter so much, but now that they're like $300, it makes, it makes a huge difference. But look how pretty that is. Green is really hard to find a perfect green. Look at that one. It's got a crack wheel on top of that. Hmm, crack wheel. There it is. Vicky. Vicky. Custom Vicky. Classic Vicky. And look at this. Ooh, shiny rose. Rose Mantis 1970 model. Clear windows. Now the windows look like they're set down there a little bit. That looks kind of odd, but that is a nice rose mantis. Look how shiny that base is. Ooh, I love the mantis. I love the mantis. These are, there's nothing in, particularly rare in here as far as I know, but they all really nice. Here's a nice aqua hot heap, 68 hot heap on a 70 card. Aqua Hong Kong, real nice. No corrosion worries. That's good. That's good. Loving that. Oh, look how nice this is. This is nice. And all these paper towels. 
And a blue, blue coupe, blue coupe. This is one of the more common coupes, a blue coupe. At least it used to be back in the day, which when I say back in the day, I mean like in the 90s, early 90s. This, there was a guy in California that had like a thousand of these blue coupes. Apparently there was a big defect run and he had managed to get his hands on them. And he was selling them for ages, ages and ages. The blue coupe with the bad, with the bad paint. Here's a blue hot heap, nice, nice and shiny. Look at that, shiny top, shiny bottom. Blue Hong Kong hot heap on up. Look at that, original 16 card. That's that's a nice little bonus there, nice little bonus. Here we got a Shelby turbine, Shelby turbine. Nice card, Grand Prix series, very good. Another coupe, blue coupe, blue coupe. Real nice and dark blue. This one's got a little funky front wheel there. Nice package. Look how smooth that package is. That is nice. Ooh, that's so nice. Ooh, that's so nice. And what do we got here? We got an orange twin mill. Orange twin mill. Dark orange. Dark orange twin mill. It's a little bit. Let's see. That bubble is down there a little bit. You know me messing around. Let me get that thing sitting back down in there. Okay, there you go. Orange twin mill. Orange twin mill. Ah, oh, look at that. A Lime Hot Heap US on a 70 card. Lime US. Very dark. Very dark. Toned evenly, which is good. Toned evenly on a Lime Coupe. Olive Lotus Turbine. Lotus Turbine in Olive. This one's got some staining in the card. But it's a great car. Hard to get the Olive. It's a good color for the Lotus Turbine. Ah, Silhouette, Silhouette, this one Rose, 70 card, S Rose, Silhouette, it's got a little little bit of shaving there, a little plastic something or other in that card, but such a nice one, beautiful Rose, beautiful Rose, Silhouette, ah, oh, look at that, oh, look at that, blue, blue, blue Nomad, that's a pretty one. Oh, I've got my eye on you, Nomad. I've got my eye on you and you. Oh, I've got my eye on those two. Oh, yes, I do. You know why. I'm not going to say, but you know why. If you watch my channel long enough, you know why I have my eye on those two. Aha. Another silhouette. This one, hmm, this one red and heavily toned and open on the bottom. Red, heavily toned and open on the bottom in a 70 card. Still, I don't believe it's been out of there, even though you could very easily get it out of there. We'll just leave it in there for now. A rose, a silhouette, heavily toned. Next one, gold, T-Bird, 57 bird, gold. Gold, 57 bird, got a big crack on here and a big crack on there. Darkened hood, but pretty nice. There it is, gold T-Bird. T-Bird, dee 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 and McLaren, this one in a really tattered pack. Tattered pack. It is a mint McLaren. You can tell it's never been out of there or it's been out and stuck back in. But it does have what looks to be rather not well painted on the back there. Kind of thin. Some of these orange enamels are not painted well. This one looks to be a little thin on the paint in the back there. Oh well. Oh well. Here we got Sugar Caddy Green. Sugar Caddy Green. Oh, this one looks good. This one looks really good. That's a pretty one. Look at that shiny motor. Now, a shiny motor on a Sugar Caddy is actually hard to say, and it's hard to find. Usually, they're corroded. For some reason, these 71s corrode real bad, especially the motor on the Sugar Caddy. But that's certainly a nice one. Another Light My Firebird, this time blue. Blue with a white interior. Stunning blue, actually. Stunning blue with a white interior. Oh, I've got my eye on you. Look at that, how pretty you are. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, that's nice. That is nice. Fire Chief's Cruiser, Fire, or Fire Chief Cruiser, Fire Ch Chief, I don't know, Chief's Cruiser. There's the Chief. This one looks like it's a real nice red. A nice shiny bottom, U.S. wheels. That's a good one. Unpunched. Oof, like that. Unpunched. All right, here we go. Evil Weevil. Evil Weevil. Seemed like there was supposed to be something wrong with this one. 
Sure shiny on the bottom. Looks good. Looks good in this video, doesn't it? Looks really good. Blue with a white interior. I'm loving that. A little wrinkle on there. Maybe a little white spots on there from sitting under plastic or something. Next one up. Red. Oh, yeah. This is the one that started it all for me back in the day. 88, 1988. The first red line I bought at a store was a red 57 bird. And this one is choice choice red bird with a matching hood i see faint dark spots on the back there but not bad at all bubbles cracked a little bit but man is that a beauty it is not easy to collect 57 birds because they they are notorious for having dings and chips and rubs and scratches and color discoloration of the hood tough tough car to collect very very hard next one Oh, look at this, Chaparral, and this one's green U.S. Usually when you find a Chaparral, it's Hong Kong. Beautiful sticker sheet, beautiful bright shine to that. Chaparral's not the most popular car in the world, but I love it. If you get all the colors, they're very exciting. I think my next video should be of the Chaparral. I do love the Chaparral. Look at this, Light My Firebird, this time green, Light My Firebird. Wow, that is great. Light my firebird green. Da 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 da. Hmm, exciting. A blue, a blue, blue, blue. Oof, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Blue, classic Vicky. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Looks like a couple of my Vickies are gonna get upgraded. Upgraded. Ha ha. Look at that mongoose, mongoose, and it's Hong Kong, and the paint's all on it. A lot of times Hong Kongs have bad paint. Now this one has a little rubs on the fenders. That's because they ship some of these from the factory to uh, to the U.S. Uh, not in the bubble, but in trays. And uh, yeah, they get a little wear on them coming down from somehow. But look how beautiful that card is. That's a nice one. That is a beautiful card. Love that. Here we got a 57 bird in green. This one in another rough package, but look at that color. Shiny base, nice color, green, white interior. Oof, gonna love that. Who doesn't love that? That is nice. Next one up, a blue demon. Ooh, that's shiny. That is one bright, shiny demon in a 70 pack. That's nice. That's a shiny one. And it's not just the light, I don't think. I think it's actually shiny. Grand Prix Red. This one is glistening a little bit. This one, sometimes these uh, indie cars, especially the Shelby Turbine, will have a bit of a bit of a rough, uh, sandy look, like it has sand in the texturing and the paint. This one is looks like that, but it's nice dark red. So that's a nice one. That is a nice one. Ah, uh, here we go. Light green sand crab. Super bright. Super bright light green. Ooh, wow, that's nice. There's a couple of these in here. One's better than the other. Check it out nicely. These are packed. I love this. It's perfect. Aqua Demon. Aqua Demon. This one missing a few, a uh, little bit on the paint on the black roof. A little missing a little paint on the black roof. Kind of common for the, for the demon, but it's a nice demon. 70 pack as expected. This one's heavy. Ooh, Lola GT70, orange, Lola GT70. You know, I've gotten several Lolas with the crooked bubble on the pack. That's kind of weird. Maybe it just was too heavy and it shifted while they were setting it down the line. This one's nice because it looks like the front and the back match. Last couple of these that I had, they did not match. So that's a good find right there. Good find. Good find. I actually didn't find anything. People call me and they say, hey, Dave, you want to buy my collection? And I'm like, probably, yeah, if they're nice, I would like to buy them. Green, hot heap. Green, hot heap. Shiny. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. 68 pack. Very nice. Very, very nice. That's because they brought the 68s out first. Oh, here comes another sand crab. This one light green again. I think this one was prettier than the other. One was prettier than the other. They're both pretty nice. One of those is going to have to come out of there. Join the free society. The free of 
Confinement. Who wants their bliss? Who wants their Hot Wheels to be confined to a bubble? I mean, come on. 50-year sentence. Time to break free of your bubble pack. Okay, gold. Hey, I just sold one of these yesterday. Gold. For J car. And look at that sticker sheet. They're always screwed up like that. I swear, they're always screwed up like that. I don't know what it is about the Ford J car. There it is, another gold one. Had the last one for a long time. Finally sold it yesterday. Blue 57 Bird. Uh-oh. This one's smashed and stained and the windshield's pulled out. I could probably push that back in if I ripped that out of the blister. Or I could just put it on eBay like that and somebody probably buy it. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. This one's really bad. The car's nice. A blue 57 Bird. Huh. Well, we'll have to decide. There will be some deciding to do. Some deciding to do. All right. Look at that. Another 36 Ford Coupe. Blue. Blue, blue, blue. I think there's five blue ones in here. That one's in a 69 pack. We've got a Mercedes green. Mercedes green. Mercedes green. And there is a Rolls Royce. Another Rolls Royce. Every collection has a Rolls Royce, a Jack Rabbit, a Paddy Wagon. And here is a gorgeous, bad package, but a gorgeous, oops. I look at like one of the fins is pulled out of the back of that. Mm -hmm. A gorgeous magenta mighty maverick. That's going to have to come out of there. Oh, it's almost out of there now. Good. That'll be another video. Rip it or list it. Rip it or list it. Not for the faint of heart. Gold 36 Ford Coupe. This one's bad. This one's very bad. This one's a re-glue, actually. Pretty easy to spot that because you can see the glue residue that's not natural to the card. And these don't line up properly. But the car looks spectacular in there. So no harm on that. Rip it or list it. That's right. That's where the blister pack pulls come from. There we go. Yellow Nomad. Oh, it's actually pretty darn nice. I was thinking this one was super toned up. Maybe it was another one. But this one is nice. Super yellow. Yellow's tough on the Nomad. Rip it or list it. No, no, no. Come on, Dave. Stop ripping everything. Blue Hot Heap. Blue Hot Heap. A lot of staining on that one. Rip it or list it. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on. You get the picture. You get the picture. Red Baron. Oh, that one's not even a blister pack. That one is just a car stuck in a pack. Looks pretty nice in there. You got a dull, dull helmet, but I think she's probably mint. So, but you can't come out of there. In fact, you know, that actually is not a Red Baron blister pack anyway, is it? No, it's not. It's just stuck in there. But it looks nice. Helmet is dark, but the rest of the car is mint. So, and it's got a shiny motor. So, we'd just call that a dull helmet model. All right, that is okay. There's a button falling out. What is that for? Red Baron. See, that's a scratched up button too. Hmm. All right, blue 36 Ford Coupe. There it is, blue. Good shape, good shape. Oh, here's one I'm looking forward to. Oh, Purple Demon. I missed one of these on eBay a week or so ago, a couple weeks ago, because I had no idea how much, how badly people wanted it. And then I found out. Now I have one. Purple Demon. This is my number one want in this package. Yes, yes. All right. Green. Green Sand Crab. There it is. Oh, this one's got the burnt base. I don't know what they did to make it look like that. But it's something that the factory did that to those. Because I've seen a few of these. This one, too, is... This one, too, is basically loose already. But it's got a nice package. I've got to sell some of these packages because I've got a bunch of these loose or empty packages. What do we got here? Funny money. Ha, ha, ha. Funny. Not so funny. Yes, it's money. Beautiful mint package. Look at that. 72 model. It's got the drive it gear thing in there. It's pretty cool. This is the silver metal flaky model. Some of them are kind of regular silver. Here we got a Rolls Royce upside down. Rolls Royce upside down with a cut button. I think it's a cut button, isn't it? Yeah, it's a cut button pack. Good upside down rolls. We'll get that straightened out there. Let's see. Mm. Flip or do, flip, flip. Flip, flip, flip or do. Come on. 
Oh well, we have to sign it out later. Might have to push it in there, push in with a peg or something. We'll get her flipped out. We'll get her flipped over, not out. All right, blue coop, come on. I thought they were purple coops for crying out loud. Real nice blue coop though. There it is, small. And here we go. Oh, look at that beautiful rose sea cider. Oh, that's nice. Got that burnt, burnished, burnished, I'd call it, base on there. That's a beauty. That is a beauty. It would be a shame to take that one out of the package, but I might have to. No, no, I would leave that one. That one's too nice. That one's too nice. Somehow I got to recover all the money I paid for these. Rose, look at that Rose AMX2. Ooh, that's a nice one. That is nice. Look at that. That's a beaut. That's a beaut. What do you think? I think it's a beaut. I think it's a beaut. Oh, and here's another hot heat blue. Hot heat blue. Dark, 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 dark blue. 68 card. That's what these early ones came on. Early. They made a ton of those. Not so many of the U.S. They just made a ton of the Hong Kong ones. And here we got a Shelby Turbine. This time Aqua Perfect. Aqua Perfecto. Oh, got a little rub on the uh, headrest there. But the paint is really nice. The paint is nice. All right, here we got an Aqua, Bright Aqua. Light My Firebird. Ooh, that's a bright one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I haven't seen one that pretty for a while. Oh, that is nice. Yes, it is. Nice, nice. Aqua Spoiler. All right. Next up, next up. All right. Hot Heap Red. Oh, that one's pretty. 68 card. Yeah, a lot of these Hot Heap Hong Kongs are 68 cards. That is nice. Look how pretty that is with that red. What is going on there? Red. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, no. No. Say it ain't so. It appears that this box is empty. Oh, I better check my list. I thought there were more. Wouldn't there be supposed to be like a thousand in there? No, I guess not. Oh, well, that's the end of it for this episode of uh, Blister Pack Collection. Fantastic. About 60 of them all together. Thanks for joining me on this episode 476. And please check out all of my videos, 475 other videos for your watching pleasure. I appreciate you watching. Stop by ToyCarCollector.com if you're looking for red lines or want to sell a red line collection. Thanks for, and we'll talk to you later.